friend, welcome to Loving Beyond. My name is Gideon Momo. Our scripture for the day is Matthew 5, 11 through 12, which reads, Blessed are you when people insult you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This passage of the Bible is one of those you read through and then, wait a bit, did I read it right? Yes, you did. Blessed are you when people insult and accuse you falsely for Christ's sake. In other words, while there's no hope for a, a heavenly reward, if we suffer for wrongs we have committed, we are blessed if we suffer simply because we are Christians. How? Of course, none of us enjoys persecutions, whether physical or verbal, but there are a number of benefits that come with persecution. Persecutions help us to take off our hopes on earthly rewards, thus helping us to hope and look forward to heavenly joys. That is a good benefit. Persecutions are good at strengthening our faith in God. Like fire, persecutions strip us off of all superficial beliefs, thus strengthening the faith of those who endure. As precious metals, we are refined through persecution so that ultimately we are presented before Christ, perfectly glorious. Persecutions turn us into raw molders. As we go through persecutions, our attitudes serve as an encouragement to others who, who may be find themselves through the same fire. It is the same reason Bible characters like Moses and Daniel are a great encouragement to us. Persecutions made them our heroes. And as if this were not good enough, suffering for Christ's sake elevates us to the rank of the prophets, upon whom the storm of falsehood fell with tremendous fury. And you know, the honor of suffering with the prophets for the Lord's sake is so great that it helps us overlook the pains involved. Our blessedness lies with our, uh, with our immeasurable privilege to belong to Christ, and we are happy that it is so. Our joy and gladness are to exceed all ordinary bounds when we are honored with the decoration of an iron, wooden, or verbal cross may be physical or of reproach, ridicule, and for Christ's sake. Our blessedness lies in the divine empowerment to revile not when we are reviled, to cast not when we are cast. Our blessedness lies in the truth that though the contempt of the world is not in itself desirable, yet it is blessed to tread in the footsteps of Jesus to imitate his example and even to suffer for his sake if need be. To love beyond is to be meek, patient, humble, not hungry, not reviling, but endeavoring to do good to our persecutors and slanderers. And blessed we are when in our suffering, like so turned poor, many will see the evidence of Christ's love. In us. For it is by being loved beyond, persecutors are drawn to submit themselves to the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of love. Do have a nice week. My name is Gideon Momo. Thanks for logging in.